In this video, I'll show you how to use your phone camera as a face cam. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. Once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. For this guide, we actually don't need to download anything, which is fantastic. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. I personally use Google Chrome, but you can use any, and then you need to go to a search engine. Once again, you can use any. Then what we need to do is go and search something called VDO Ninja. So you type that in VDO and then type in N-I-N-J-A like so. Then make sure you go to the official website, which is literally VDO.Ninja like so. So this is the site which is going to allow us to go and use our phone's camera in OBS and other streaming software. So all you need to do is go over to the right and tap on create reusable invite just like this. So here we've got some settings we need to go and choose. So honestly, most of this stuff should be okay. Uh, I don't really change it. And then all you need to do is tap on generate the invite link just like so. Now, as you can see, we're giving a link and a QR code. So you can either go and send this link to your phone or you can just go and scan it using a QR code scanner. Phones can actually let you go and scan your QR code using the camera app. So on my phone, all I need to do is go and open up the camera like so, and here it is, and then I can actually go and scan the QR code. I can actually go and tap on it like this, or alternatively, you could just go and send the link in an email to your phone or something like that. So as you can see, we're now opening up this page here, and it's gonna go and take a moment to load. So we've now got these two options here, share your camera or share your screen. And in this case, I want to go and click on share my camera because that's what I want to go and use. So I'm then gonna go and press allow like so, and then it should take a moment for my camera to go and load, and here it is. Now, as you can see, um, the video still sits to my front camera, and it's also uh, vertical. So I want to go and make this horizontal. So then once you've rotated your phone, as I showed you before, there are a few settings you can go and change down here, but honestly, you don't need to do it too much. Then all you need to do is go and press start like so, and now what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna start sending your video to the link that we've gone and created on our computer. So now what we need to do is go and get this OBS browser source link. It says OBS, but it's also going to work in other software such as XSplit um, and other apps like that. So go and grab the link like so. Then what we need to do is head back to OBS just like this. And what we then need to do is go to a scene and then we need to go and add this browser link as a source. So to do that, go and tap on the plus button in sources like so, and then go and tap on browser. And then you can go and name this. I'll just name it browser. And then what you need to do is go and paste the link in the URL bar here. So I'm gonna go and remove this just like so. Then I can right click and go and press paste like this. You can then go and choose a width and height, but we can go and change that later on. So I'm then gonna go and tap okay. Then give it a moment for it to go and load the footage. And here we are. As you can see, we can go and see my camera here. And honestly, it's really smooth as well. And then what you can do is go and adjust the size of it and put it wherever you'd like. I'm just gonna make this full screen because I wanna quickly talk to you guys about something. So as you can see at the moment, I'm literally just holding my phone like this, which isn't ideal if I was gonna be playing a game or something like that. So what I recommend doing is go and getting something like this. And this has got a tripod sort of mount on the bottom if I get in my camera. And then what it does, it sort of clamps around your phone. And then it means you can put your phone onto a tripod. And that just means you can get a good angle of me like here. And I can go and stream and have both my hands free because this isn't ideal. But yeah, I'll put a link down below to something called an iPhone sort of camera clamp or something like that. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and yeah, I'll put a link to a good tripod as well. And that's it, guys. All you need to do is keep your phone running. So you probably need to charge it. And just go and make sure you keep this browser open as well. 